Meet Paul, a 33-year-old singleton working in IT. He's desperately searching for love, despite still living at home with his sister and mother. So how has living at home made dating difficult for you? Well, I'm not going to lie, you know, living with a mam and sister, it's a, a tiny bit of a hindrance in terms of uh, pulling birds or uh, finding that someone special, as they say. Uh, I mean, let's not lie to ourselves either, you know. Uh, women's expectations of men these days are fairly fucking astronomical. So why are you taking part in the show? I, you know, I'm pushing on. All my friends are in serious relationships. Uh, Gonna need a plus one for those weddings. Is that the only reason? Yeah. Someone to do cool, dope shit with. How do you feel about Paul going on this type of dating programme? Well, naturally, as his mother, I'm nervous. I wouldn't like to see him hurt. Or to be made a fool out of on TV. We're not asking for... Miracles, we just kind of want to make the house sometimes. What do you think Paul's type is? His ideal partner? Paul wants the most beautiful woman in the entire world who at the same time does not need a single thing from him and does not want a single thing from him. How long has Paul been single? Oh. Well, he, he doesn't tell us anything. To be perfectly honest with you, I don't remember a time when he wasn't single. What are they on about? What do they know about my past romantic endeavours? Nobody needs to know how many girlfriends I've had! Jesus Christ! Fuck my life! Five! I've had five previous girlfriends! Can't you remember fucking one of them? Fucking hell, Mom, can't you say something nice about me for once? Always with the fucking doomsday scenarios. I mean, Jesus Christ, what are you going to tell him next? That I shit myself during my graduation? Hypothetically. I, I, I mean, it's always... Always the fucking same with you. Paul, can you just chillax? I'm chill. I'm pretty fucking chill. I, I, I just, I'm just asking you to be a bit more fucking reasonable, that's Paul. all. Go back upstairs. This is supposed to be our interview. No, no, no. I'm, I'm sticking around. I'll tell you why. Because you were telling him a few minutes ago that I've never even had a girlfriend. If I don't stick around watching you, you'd probably tell him that I'm gay or something. Oh, Hashtag repeal the hate. You have to be adopted. I have no problem getting that. Yeah, it's because you're a slut. Don't say that about your sister. <sighs> She's not a slut. Yes, she is. Just how difficult is modern dating? Oh, I find it next to impossible. How so? Well, first of all... It's all on this these days, isn't it? This little thing. People's social skills, well, other people's social skills, have gone to shit because of this. Best way to meet people is through your friends. Unfortunately for me, my friends are fucking useless. Good. <laughs> So can you just state your name and your relationship to Paul? Sure. Um, hi, my name is uh, Gary. I'll be Paul's longest and most patient friend. Uh, we've known each other since uh, primary school. Yeah. And can you remember any of Paul's former girlfriends from around that time? <laughs> be nice. Uh, I can't remember any of his past or most recent girlfriends. Ah, uh, come here lads, can we, can we stop with the girlfriend stuff already? Like you're making me look like a bit of a fool, can we just move on? Calm down, they're just asking you about your problem. Shut the fuck up, Susie. Hey Gary, won't let you talk to me like that. Gary will kick your ass. You make me look like a fool in my own house. <laughs> this is not his house. You know, while we're on the subject, Susie, you've never once tried to set me up with any of your girlfriends, you know that? We set you up with Mary, didn't we Gary? Fucking Harry Mary! She's getting electrolysis, it's expensive. Obviously, Mary was a lovely girl, I just... She just wasn't my type. That's not what you said to me. What are you on about? What did he say? I said, well, you said she was a fat, stuck-up bitch. You miserable prick, Paul. Thanks for that, Gary. Cheers for broadcasting that out into the world. Don't put that in, by the way. How dare you? She's not fat. Gary! I wouldn't call her 
fat, fat, like maybe a little bit fat. I have a type. I, I'm, I'm just not into big girls. Would you not just get with her for the ride, like just a bit of fun or something? Look, Gary, just please, please stop talking. I don't think I'd be able to, Gary, you know, nice girls, not for me. Do you know what your problem is, Paul? That's my problem, Susie. You're too picky and you're a, you're, you're a fucking asshole. Fucking asshole. Yeah, asshole. I'm not picky. I deserve to have standards. And those are my biscuits, by the way. Are you... Are you too picky? Look at that. You wouldn't, would you? That's not really for me to say. She looks like a perfectly nice girl. Oh yeah, very nice personality. Is weight a major issue for you, Paul? Absolutely. Anyone who tells you differently is lying. Have you ever had weight issues, Paul? Nope. Are you sure? Yes. Yes, I'm fucking sure. Why the fuck would you ask me if I'm sure? I'm sure! Okay, but that's, there's no need to get angry. I'm not getting angry. You're just trying to get a rise out of me. I don't know what your fucking deal is. Let's, uh, let's take a minute. Hmm? I was... somewhat big-boned. I was the fat kid in school. I was the fat man in college. I was the fat guy in the office. Going to the school Debs on your own must have been tough. I'm gonna kill my mom. My mother told you that, I assume. She insinuated by saying it to you. He Yes, but with the words she said, yeah. Well, first of all, my mom is a compulsive fucking liar. The truth is, I showed up, she bailed on me. I had no date, I had to go by myself. No choice, no fucking choice. Having gone through all of that, maybe you shouldn't be so picky. No, 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 you know, no. I, 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 I've done everything, I've, I've, I deserve my standards, okay? I, 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 I go to the gym five times a week. I, 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 I shower twice a day. I, I, I've tasted the kale. I've drank the beet juice. I, I've given up the Mars bars. I've earned my standards. I have earned my standards. <laughs>